coverage you can count on continues with Jessica Starbird Sports Report. We are coming to you live from the Fort Wayne Country Club where the Boilers are in the building. The Boilers on the road coming through the Fort Wayne Country Club tonight with some of Purdue's finest coaches and athletes mingling with Fort Wayne Purdue fans and one of those athletes right here, familiar face, Homestead grad Caleb Swanigan. Caleb, this is the first time we've really gotten a chance to chat with you about your decision to return to Purdue after testing out the NBA. What was the biggest decision-making factor going into why you wanted to go back to Purdue? Well, what was going to put myself in the best position? You know, what was going to be better for Caleb Swanigan at that time? You know, I had to think and weigh every option. I feel like coming back here for another year uh, was going to, be my, going to be in my best interest. What was some of the evaluation notes that you'll take with you as you prepare for this season and maybe another shot at it next year? Um, just don't waste a year. Don't come back to school and not get better. Don't get comfortable or anything like that. Just always be in the work mode and things like that. You're coming back. Vince Edwards coming back. How excited were you to hear that he was coming back and that a lot of the key pieces that made Purdue so successful last year are back in place this year? I thought it was huge. You know, we were young like last year, and, you know, we're going to use that experience for this year. You know, we got a lot of guys that played a lot of basketball, even though they're only juniors. So I feel like we're going to have a really good team. And then someone who was probably very excited to hear that Caleb Swanigan and Vince Edwards were coming on back, head coach Matt Painter. What was your reaction when you heard that you were getting both those guys back from the NBA? Well, first of all, you know, I think it was a good, good thing, a good rule for those guys to go and get that firsthand experience and, uh, and talk to NBA people. I think a lot of times everybody has an opinion, and those opinions actually matter, you know, the NBA people and what they have to say. So we're obviously excited. You know, we think that we have a, a great team. And uh, like Biggie talked about, you know, I think that, that experience – um, each guy's getting one more year experience. I think uh, will be a lot better for our team next year. Guys getting a few practices in. What have you seen out of this team as you get ready for an exciting trip to Spain uh, next week? Well, obviously we're, we're a big team, and so for those guys to go against each other, but also with, with the departure of A.J. Hammonds, I think it gives us a couple different looks. You know, I think we can get really small and really skilled with one group, with Biggie at the center, with him at the power forward, and Isaac at the center, and also obviously Vince always being in that mix. Uh, we can be really big again, so we can, we can give a couple different looks and give people a lot, a lot of problems. And talking about that trip to Spain, you'll be playing four games over there. How beneficial is it for you to be having this trip where you get that game experience? and a chance to travel yeah. together. Well, I think it's great. I think it's probably the best for, you know, Carson Edwards and Spike Albrecht to be able to, to join our team. Basil Smotherman redshirted to for us last year. So for us to really gel as, as a team this year, for those three guys to, to get game experience together is going to be really important. Most important question, though, have you guys started your flamenco lessons before you head to Spain? <laughs> no, not yet. We haven't tried that. All right, Biggie, we said I had a couple of minutes to learn the flamenco. Did you learn it? Definitely didn't learn it. Well, I am excited to see the video when they get back from Spain from the flamenco dancing. Thank you so much, Coach Painter and Biggie Swanigan. We are back in two minutes.